Welcome back, my friends. I'll walk you through the four essential steps to start using Harith as effectively as possible. After watching this video, you will know how to use him correctly in the game and take down your opponents. Before we get started, please like this video and be sure to subscribe to my channel. And now, without further ado, let's dive into step one. First of all, I'll show you how to get an unlimited dash at the beginning of the game. At level four, we have a six second skill cooldown when using ultimates, which drops to two seconds. To do this, you need to attack the enemy with your second skill and then hit him with your basic attack. So, where do you get unlimited dash? Don't worry, it's simpler than you think. For this, you will need to make the correct purchase of items. First, you'll need to purchase the skill cooldown shoes, which are called magic shoes. Then we have a piece from a feather called the Book of Sages, and the third piece is Azure Blade. These items reduce skill cooldown the beginning of the game and will cost you 1760 gold. Oh my God. Step two is the right way to dash on ultimates. If you leave the ultimate zone, the cooldown time for the second skill will be seven seconds. Now let's look at how to make the most of the ultimates. Everything is simple. We just jump on green directions, and if we leave the cross, the second skill goes to to cool down. It's totally fine if your enemy just stays where they are while you're jumping. But in real game, that doesn't happen. So I'd say it's a good idea to practice your dash. The third step is to know the right skill combo. Let's break it down piece by piece, which combination of skills will be most impactful. Our first move is to use the second skill to jump on the opponent, followed by a basic attack to deal damage. Press the first skill. Your opponent should be in the center for the best damage. Then put the ultimatum skill under the feet of the enemy and using the previous steps, spam the second skill. And now your enemy has been defeated. And lastly, let's talk about the counterpick. One of Harith's most annoying opponents is the Minisitar, who blocks jumps with his ultimates. Franco, Kufra, and Kaya are just as good at standing up to him. Esmeralda and Fovius could cause trouble for Harith too. Use the equipment assembly and hero emblems that you see on the screen now. By equipping these items, Harith can maximize his potential as a mage assassin dealing significant magical damage while maintaining mobility and survivability during skirmishes and team fights. I really hope you find this video useful and that it helps you to defeat your opponents in the Lands of Dawn. We'd love for you to like this video and leave a comment telling us which hero you'd like to see in the next tutorial. Have fun, and we'll catch up again when we get to the Lands of Dawn.